Have you ever wondered if the dildo was a German invention? Today, Dan and I are going <laughs> to answer this and many more questions. Hey, rabbits! It's Trixie, and today I have the wonderful, fabulous, one and only Dana oh, wow. Wanted Adventure by my side again. I'm really proud to have her here again, and we're gonna play yet another game, Yay. a quiz, and it's called Is It German? Dana, you already did a quiz like that. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about it? I did do a similar video with mm -hmm. Sam Walton Man asking, was it invented in the US or was it invented in Germany? For example, I said gingerbread mm -hmm. and that is invented in wonderful Germany. But as far as we I can find the cupcake from what I could find is invented in the US. Well, today we're not gonna go for the exact same things, but more like daily life items, like, the dildo. It's a very daily one. <laughs> okay, can we do the dildo one one more time? <laughs> Dildos. <laughs> one more time. No, one more time. Dildos. <laughs> Dildos. <laughs> Dildos. So I'm going to present some things to Dana and she has to decide whether it's German or not. So are you ready? I'm ready. Let's play Is It German? Let's talk about food first. Yummy! Because that's the topic that makes us all happy. Yes! Do you think that the Toast Hawaii is invented in Germany by a German? That would be very interesting because, you know, it's got the word Hawaii in it. I'm going to say yes. Why? Because maybe they thought, well, pineapples, Hawaii. Yeah, they just kind of like associated it. I don't think it was invented in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I think that's the thing. It was not invented in Hawaii. So I'm going to go yes to Germany. It's German. German yeah. likes to like to go to nice, beautiful beaches. And they were just inspired uh. by Hawaii. So let's put some pineapple on our toast and feel like on vacation. Yeah, exactly. Vacation on Monday morning. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. This story is beautiful mm -hmm. and you are completely right. Yeah. Well, you can argue because mm -hmm. the Hawaiian sandwich is actually inspired by the grilled spamwich, which comes from the US. Oh, yeah. But mm -hmm. the German TV cook Clemens Wilmenort actually introduced the Toast Hawaii in its first appearance, 1955, on TV. Interesting. So it is indeed German. I would be then interested to know, follow up, I'll have to see then is the pizza you know there's you can get the, yeah, the pizza, pizza hawaii pizza. yeah is that also by a german because i had never had toast hawaii i had never had that mm -hmm. in the u.s but i have seen the pineapple pizza in the u.s so Maybe, I, but yeah that's inspired by yeah. the toast hawaii so let's just say that's german as well because <laughs> yeah. germans are awesome when you and mr german man came here mm -hmm. it was raining really crazily we wanted to take a nice walk but the rain didn't let us we ended up going with our umbrellas, mm -hmm. seeking for a, a dry place to stay. So what do you think regarding that it always rains in Germany, always or pretty much at mm -hmm. least, the Germans invent the umbrella? Would be convenient, Ooh, huh? That would be convenient. The umbrella. It's really great. It's a really great thing. Mm -hmm. So it must be German. <sighs> I don't know. People say that it rains in England a lot too. You know what, though? I'm going to just go crazy here and say the umbrella was not invented in Germany and say that the umbrella was actually invented somewhere where it doesn't rain very much. I'm just going to go totally for what doesn't make any sense. Why would they invent an umbrella? The sun. The rain. sun. Okay. Maybe, okay. maybe, maybe, okay. maybe it was a sun umbrella. How many but times can I say maybe? Make sense. <laughs> maybe yeah. one more time. I'm just gonna go with that. Let's just see. Am I right or wrong? I'm impressed yeah. actually because you said it doesn't make sense, so I'm gonna go for it, and it yeah. makes total sense. Oh, the oh. umbrella is actually older than you would expect, or maybe you expected it, and I just didn't. It was invented like four thousand years ago, somewhere around China, is what I read. But first, for as a protection against the sun, like for really uh, high princesses and like these very important mm -hmm. people to like um, keep them in the shadows and later 
Also in China, the first time the uh, umbrella was covered in wax and then it was used as a real umbrella as we know it today ah. and not like for sun protection. So no Germany, unfortunately, 4,000 years ago, way older than maybe expected and no German invention like that. One of the stereotypes about Germans is that we like order, we like punctuality, we like things to be organized. So what about a hole puncher? Wouldn't it be convenient if a German would have invented the hole puncher to keep all the documents that he has organized? I feel like I learned this somewhere and I feel like it is German. Yes. I feel like it's German. Yes. A hole puncher is German. Yes. That could also be a name for a really bad porn movie. The <laughs> hole puncher. I'm sure I bet it already exists. <laughs> but the hole puncher, the harmless one to just put holes in your documents, is German. I think so. I think so. It actually is. Yes. You get everything right. Oh my goodness. So yeah, a German actually invented the hole puncher. It's in 1886 by, I have to look this up, Friedrich Sonneken. He invented the hole puncher and now all of Germans profit from his invention, keep their documents organized and don't have to fear chaos and just have everything in their folders. Thank you so much. Thank you, Friedrich. Yeah, thank you. We all have done it and we all hate it, especially Germans. We write something and then we misspell a word and what then? But fortunately, some hero invented the ink eraser. It would make sense that this invention is German, right? Because we hate mistake, we are perfectionists, we want it to be just beautiful. What do you think? Now, are we talking about like the paint that you put over it? No, the, the, the felt pen that deletes ah, ink. Ah, okay. That changes everything. Really? Well, yeah, because the, the like, paint stuff, I was going to say that that's pretty old mm -hmm. because I feel like you could you could make something out of, I don't know, beetles or something. Beetles, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but you could do... The famous yeah. white ink beetle <laughs> yes, that exactly. ancient that one. Egyptians used to, <laughs> to paint over their yeah, hero exactly. <laughs> Whoopsie! Just paint over it. No big deal. So because of this thing, the, the change here of what it is. I'm going to say it is German. It is German. Like yeah. the, the hole puncher and the ink eraser are stereotypically German. Yeah, and I would say that maybe even um, they were created one right after each other. That it was like, now that we have our documents <laughs> organized, we can clean up all of our mistakes. Great. It was not right after each other, uh -huh. but you are right. I'm on it was roll. also invented in Germany by okay. the like uh, pen and paper supplier Pelikan, but in 1930. So quite some time wow. after. But yeah, I guess like writing with ink and stuff took a while to be invented and get common. But yeah, the ink eraser is also German. Another cliche about Germans is that we love punctuality and to be somewhere in time. You've heard about that, mm -hmm. right? So what's the enemy of being in time when you're like lazy and you cannot get out of bed because it's so nice and cozy? Exactly. The snooze function of your ah. alarm clock. So wouldn't it be ironic mm -hmm. if actually a German was the one inventing the snooze, the first snooze function alarm clock? That's tricky. I'm going to say, I'm going to take the, the bait and I'm going to say that it was not invented in Germany. But wouldn't it be nice if a German invented something that is mm -hmm. so not German, that is like anti-German? But I just, I just don't think, I just don't think it would happen. I just, <laughs> I cannot fool you today. It's, ugh, I made so much effort to uh, fool you, but no, you're just too good. It maybe, is true. Maybe we fooled some of the viewers. Maybe, maybe at least know. that. Tell me in the comments if you got it right or not. The snooze function was not invented by uh -huh. a German. The first uh, snooze function alarm clock was invented by uh, West Clock Strauss Electric was the first alarm clock. And in 1959, other sources say 56. And that's a company in Peru, Illinois. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't see that coming. So the U.S. created <laughs> the US sleeping in. The snooze function. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Okay. <laughs> Let's come to the most delicate item right now. Delicate. <laughs> delicate. <laughs> the dildo. Hmm. What do you think 
did a German come up with this? Or, well, the first dildo ever found, the oldest dildo. Mm -hmm. I feel like this... May have been in Germany. I feel like with this, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. You know, if I claim that, yes, Germany (laughs) created the dildo, that I feel like that's somehow insulting in some way. And if I say, no way, the Germans didn't create that, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, it's a really successful item, so whoever (laughs) did it was a master of mind. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go with... Yes, Germany, the dildo is yours. <laughs> Take it. Have Take fun it. with it. Let the dildo say. power reign over you. I was going to go German with it. And yes, I will give you the point for that, even though, well, this question is uh-huh. a little bit questionable because dildos have actually been found like thousands and thousands of years ago. It's like a really simple thing that seems to have done pleasure to people way older than us. Scientists are not so convinced whether it was used as a dildo or a hunting weapon. <laughs> or both. <laughs> oh, goodness. But the, the oldest... You know, scientists, those are two very different uses, you know? Like, yeah, well, I don't know. It could have been used for sex or to kill, you know? Not in lions. <laughs> the only thing that the scientists said about the uh, considerably most... The oldest dildo ever found was that it was more polished than other hunting weapons they had before. (gasps) So it's pretty obvious that it may have been used for something else. And this dildo is actually 30,000 years old. It's 20 centimeters long. This is 20 centimeters and you can see it. It's the size of my head. head. It's the freaking size of my head. Made out of siltstone and it was found in a cave near today's Ulm. So it wasn't actually invented mm-hmm. in Germany, you know, but the the world's oldest dildo known was found in Germany. So I think that counts. Congratulations, Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> thank you very much. <sighs> All right, rabbits. Thank you so much for joining us in this weird adventure about German or not German inventions. Now you know that the world's oldest dildo is actually found in nowadays Germany. I bet you all wanted to know that. (laughs) And you can go to sleep now, rest in peace, and be happy with this information. Thanks a lot to Dana for assisting me in this delicate video (laughs) today. You got everything right. How do you Ah, feel about that? I I feel wonderful. I feel like my life has been boosted up and, you know, I'm just, it's just, it's, it's really, it's amazing, Trixie. Your life has been boosted up by the data. I'm just, it, it was amazing. Dana did awesome. She did a good job. How did you perform in this quiz? Did you do? Did you get everything right as well? Did I make it too easy, or was there something that you didn't expect? Just let us know in the comments right below here, and please give a thumbs up if you liked the video. That would make us really, really happy. And now we wish you all a very beautiful day and see you in the next video. Check out Dana's channel. She has really cool videos. I'm I'm sure you're going to enjoy them. So please check the info box for her channel or just click on her beautiful face right here to go there. And we're going to see each other in the next video. Bye. Bye. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Yeah. This is how Dana reacts to dildo. Dildo. <laughs> Dildos. <laughs> Dildos? We saved the dildo for the end. Yeah. <laughs> As, you know, people do. <laughs> when I think of Mica, I think of sausages. <laughs> Is that because it's, it's a guy? guy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Of... <laughs> no, that's not a guy. <laughs> that's going to be the clip that goes in her video. When I think of Mica, I think of sausages. <laughs>